coming up, it's the High School Quiz Show Invitational Semifinals with New Hampshire. <laughs> Taking on Maine. Production support for High School Quiz Show Maine is provided by the Helen and George Ladd Charitable Corporation, the Lincoln and Therese Filene Foundation, Plots Associates, Bernstein Schur, and by What a Moment when you find your way to a new home at your local Maine credit union. That'll feel just like home, too, so you can settle in. The home loan you want, it's here. Contact your local Maine credit union. It's your moment. Own it. Energy is about more than just keeping the lights on. It's about living life. As parents, friends, and teammates, Unitil is proud to support High School Quiz Show Maine. Unitil, more than a utility, part of your community. With Harvard Pilgrim Healthcare, you get more than a health plan. You get a partner. With benefits built around local needs, they're helping communities across Maine get healthier and happier. Visit harvardpilgrim.org to learn more. And by viewers like you. Thank you. the High School Quiz Show and our Interstate Invitational Tournament. I'm Billy Costa, your host. Now, this is a four-state showdown, and in today's matchup, the winner of Maine Public Television's High School Quiz Show Maine is taking on the winner of New Hampshire PBS's Granite State Challenge. The winner of today's match will advance to the Invitational Championship for a shot at this year's title, so let's get right to it and meet the teams. On the main team, we have Thomas, George, Edmund, and Maggie, with alternates Chris and Nicholas and coach Graham Shove. <laughs> and for the New Hampshire team, we have Rihanna, Reese, Eric, and Ben, with alternates Mason and Rachel, and coach Jay Fogarty. All right, the competition has four rounds, a toss-up, a head-to-head -head round, a category round, and a lightning round. And we will start, as always, with the toss-up round. All answers teams are worth 10 points, and this is the only round with no point deductions for wrong answers. So, teams, if everybody's ready, good luck, and here we go. Uh, the phrase government of the people, by the people, for the people is from what historic speech made in 1863 in Pennsylvania. Yes, George. The Gettysburg Address. Yes, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania all have coastlines on what sea? Yes, Edmund. The Balkan Sea. No, New Hampshire, you want to try it. Yes, Reese? Baltic. Baltic is correct. Bronze, the oldest alloy used by humans, is composed mainly of copper and what other metal? Yes, Ben. Tin. Correct. The Iraqi city of Baghdad lies along the banks of what river that forms part of the Fertile Crescent? Yes, Edmund. The uh, Tigris River. Correct. Take a look at your screens. Uh, pictured here is 32-year-old widow Florence Thompson and three of her seven children. What photographer took this iconic image of the Great Depression titled Migrant Mother? Yes, Reese. Dorothea Lange. Yes. And according to one theory, mosquitoes bite more women than men because mosquitoes like the scent of what primary female hormone? Yes, Maggie. Estrogen? Yes. What American actress who starred in a 2009 production of Twelfth Night has the same name as Shakespeare's wife? Yes, Rihanna. Anne Hathaway. Correct. Created by Congress in 1913. What central banking system of the United States is responsible for setting monetary policy? Yes, Reese. Federal Reserve. Yes. In 2018, British actress Claire Foy won an Emmy Award for her lead role as Queen Elizabeth II in what Netflix series? Yes, Maggie. The Crown. Correct. Take a look at your screens. 
The next question comes from the governor of the great state of Maine. Hi, I'm Janet Mills, governor of Maine. Here's my question. What native of Portland, Maine wrote some of the most popular works of the 19th century, including the Song of Hiawatha and the Courtship of Miles Standish? Yes, Reese. Longfellow. Yes. Uh, the platypus and the spiny anteater belong to what order of egg-laying mammals? Yes, George. Uh, marsupial? No, New Hampshire, you want to try it. Yes, Reese. Monotreme. Correct. In uh, Virgil's Aeneid, what queen of Carthage throws herself on a funeral pyre when Aeneas sails away without her? Yes, Reese. Dido. Yes. In 1982, Great Britain went to war with what South American country over the Falkland Islands? Yes, Reese. Argentina. Yes. The meeting house of the ancient Roman Senate was called which of the following? Is it A, the Pantheon, B, the Forum, or C, the Curia? Yes, George. The Forum. No, New Hampshire, you want to try. Reese? The Curia. Curia is correct. In 1947, while flying the experimental X-1 aircraft, what American test pilot became the first person to break the sound barrier? Yes, George. Chuck Yeager. Yes. In 1408, almost 100 years before Michelangelo, Donatello uh, sculpted a marble statue of what biblical hero who fought Goliath? Yes, Rihanna. David. Yes. In 2018, what former Beatle released Egypt Station, his first number one album in the U.S. in 36 years? Yes, George. Paul McCartney. Yes. Take a look at your screens. Uh, this question comes from the governor of the beautiful state of New Hampshire. Hi, I'm Chris Sununu, governor of New Hampshire. Here's my question. What body of water that's home to more than 250 islands is the largest lake in New Hampshire? Yes, Reese. Lake Winnipesaukee. Correct. Uh, some hospitals are replacing stainless steel surfaces with which of the following metallic elements because it's naturally antibacterial, antiviral, and antifungal. Is it A, copper? B, platinum, or C, aluminum? Yes, Edmund. A, copper. Correct. Uh, what Middle Eastern country includes Petra, an ancient city and uh, archaeological site famous for massive monuments cut into the surrounding cliffs? Yes, Reese. Lebanon. No, Maine, you want to try? Yes, George. Jordan. Yes. What Australian landmark is a giant sandstone rock with a circumference of nearly six miles? Yes, Reese. Uluru. Yes. Uh, math question. David was on vacation and worked only three quarters of his usual 40-hour work week. How much did he earn that week if his rate is $18 an hour? Yes, Thomas. Uh, 540. Correct. Uh, what ancient Greek physician is known as the father of medicine? Yes, Reese. Hippocrates. Correct. And now the Grand Trianon and the Petite Trianon are smaller palaces on the grounds of what massive chateau built for King Louis XIV of France? Yes, Maggie. Versailles. Correct. In March 2018, what former energy executive learned he had been fired from his job as U.S. Secretary of State via a tweet from his boss, President Donald Trump? Yes, Thomas. Tillerson. Yes, Rex Tillerson. Every planet in the solar system spins on its axis from west to east except Uranus, which spins on its side. And what planet that spins east to west? Yes, Eric. Venus. Yes. Uh, James K. Polk ran for president on a platform of taking control over the entire Oregon Territory using the slogan, 5440 or what? Yes, Reese. Fight. Yes. Name the only element that cannot be solidified by lowering the temperature at standard air pressure. Yes, Edmund. Helium. Correct. Located in the Pacific Ocean near Guam, uh, what trench is the Earth's lowest point at about 36,000 feet below sea level? Yes, Reese. Mariana's Trench. Yes. Uh, what 1995 Pixar title featuring Tom Hanks and Tim Allen was the first feature-length film generated entirely by computers? Yes, Reese. Toy Story. Yes. Named after an Austrian physicist, what term beginning with the letter M is used to describe supersonic speed? Yes, Ben. Mach. Correct. Edna St. Vincent Millay's 1927 poem, Justice Denied in Massachusetts, is about what two Italian anarchists executed after a controversial and politically charged trial? Yes, Reese. Sacco and Vinzetti. Yes. Uh, Dengue fever. Oh, that's the bell ending 
Round one, the score right now, Maine with 120 points. And New Hampshire with 200 points. Let's hear it, everybody. Trees are down, the power is down, but you're not powerless. The mobile app from Safety Insurance can help you file a claim. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. Okay, the head-to-head round is next. First, we're going to take a little breather. You can shake it off, guys, if you want. Relax for a couple of seconds. The way we do this, uh, we get to know the players a little bit better, and we do it by way of a question that I have in my hand. And I'm going to start with the state of Maine and you, Thomas, and here we go. If uh, someone was thinking about moving to either Maine or New Hampshire, how would you convince them to choose your state? Uh, well, we have pretty good wildlife, and we have moose as well, um, and we have Acadia National Park to go on top of that. That's so. good, right there. Who doesn't like wildlife, right? Moose. We love moose. George? Um, well, Maine's one of only a couple states in the whole country where it's illegal to put billboards up, so there's a lot of nice unspoiled natural beauty. Nicely done. Edmund? Maine has the world's largest spinning globe named Eartha, who weighs over 5,000 pounds, I believe, and is 41 feet in diameter, so... Really? H- have you been there? I have, yeah. Oh, it's in Yarmouth. Just how many times? Several? Or... Once? What? A couple times, yeah. Okay. Maggie, how about you? Well, speaking of large rotating objects, <laughs> Maine also had the uh, ice disc on the Presunskit River. Pretty impressive. Yes, I saw yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, New Hampshire, it's your turn. Bring us to New Hampshire. Rihanna. Well, it does get cold, but we don't have many natural disasters. You know, no tornadoes, earthquakes. So it's a safe place. Okay. Reese? We were the ninth state to ratify the Constitution, so we made it so that the United States could be possible. Nicely done. Eric? Uh, We vote first in all the presidential primaries, so all the candidates come to us. There you go. And Ben? As someone who moved to New Hampshire, I sure like the lack of a sales tax. Who doesn't? (laughs) Some of us drive there just to get it. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I'm kidding. All right, the head-to-head round is really cool. What happens is you all come down and go head-to-head. So having said that, come on down. Let's go (laughs) head-to-head. Okay, we're about to go head to head. I have New Hampshire to my left. I have the state of Maine to my right. You want to shake hands? We'll get started in this round. And by the way, a reminder, in this round, you get 10 points for correct answers. Incorrect answers, however, will cost you 10 points. You can buzz in at any time. So the clock is set at 90 seconds, and here we go. Name the only country ever to use atomic weapons in war. Yes. U.S. Yes, uh, our sun is one of over 100 billion stars in what galaxy? Yes? The Milky Way. Yes, The Great Gatsby did not sell well until after the death of what author who wrote it? Yes. F. Scott Fitzgerald. Yes, in 2018, after 13 years, the FBI recovered stolen ruby slippers worn by what star in The Wizard of Oz? Yes. Judy Garland. Yes, what U.S. city is the setting for the Tennessee Williams play, A Streetcar Named Desire? New Orleans. Uh, what is the only planet in the solar system known to have active plate tectonics? Yes. Earth. Yes. In Great Britain, what upper house of parliament is also known as the House of Peers? House of Lords. The retina contains what two types of photo intercept? Yes. Rods and cones. Yes. Uh, what character from a Mother Goose nursery rhyme likes to eat curds and whey? Yes. Muffet? Yes. Uh, what French composer died three months after the premiere of his opera, Carmen? Yes. Bizet. Yes. Uh, with three-letter word refers to the area of absolute calmness at the center of a hurricane. Yes. The eye. Yes. World War I broke out in Europe during the summer of what year? 1914. What word beginning with the letter C refers to the highest political position in the Roman Republic? Yes. Consul? Yes. What U.S. state includes Diamond Head, a dormant volcano, and famous landmark? Oh, that's the bell. Ending. Hawaii is the answer there with the Diamond Head. Let's uh, take a look at the score. Maine right now. 170 points. New Hampshire. 250 points. Let's hear it, everybody. Okay, next up is the category round with the following categories. Mission Control. What's up, Doc? Poetry Collection. Born in China. Brave New Words. And 
home sweet home. Now, each category has five questions with increasing point values and players. You can confer with your teammates, but uh, once you buzz in, you're no longer allowed to confer. We will need your answer now. Maine, you have a little ground to make up. The good news is you get to choose the first category. So what's it going to be? Let's start off with mission control. Mission control. These will be uh, questions about space exploration. For 10 points, in the film First Man, Ryan Gosling plays what astronaut who was the first person to set foot on the moon? Yes, Thomas? Armstrong. Yes, and you've got the board main category. Uh, mission control. Uh, this time for 15 points in 1961, who became a hero of the Soviet Union for becoming the first person to travel into space? Yes, Reese. Gogren. Yes, and now you've got control of the board New Hampshire category. Poetry. Poetry collection. And these will be questions, well, about poetry. For 10 points, what golden flowers inspired William Wordsworth's lyric poem, I Wandered Lonely as a Cloud? Yes, Thomas. Marigold. No, New Hampshire, you want to try, Reese? Dandelions. No, daffodils. But New Hampshire, you've still got the board, so category. Poetry again. For 15 points. Uh, do not go gentle into that good night is one of the most famous works of what Welsh poet? Reese. Dylan Thomas. Yes, you've still got the board New Hampshire category. Poetry. Uh, this time, 20 points. Who wrote and illustrated the 1974 children's poetry collection, Where the Sidewalk Ends? Yes, Eric. Shel Silverstein. Yes, and you've still got the board New Hampshire category. I'd like to continue with poetry. Okay, 25 points at stake this time. Who became one of America's best-known poets, uh, largely on the strength of her poetry collection, Ariel, published posthumously after her suicide in 1963 at the age of 30? Yes, Reese. Sylvia Plath. Yes, you've still got the board New Hampshire. Continue with poetry. 30 points. We Real Cool is a well-known poem by what woman who was the first African-American to win the Pulitzer Prize? Yes, Reese. Brooks. Yes, Gwendolyn Brooks, and you've still got the board in New Hampshire. You'll need a new category, though. China. China. Born in China, these will be questions about famous people from China. Uh, for 10 points, everything has beauty, but not everyone sees it. This is one of the best-known proverbs of what ancient philosopher whose ideas strongly shaped Chinese civilization? Yes, Rihanna. Confucius. Yes, you've still got the board in New Hampshire. Category. Uh, born in China again. 15 points. What star of Shanghai Noon and Rumble in the Bronx helped bring Kung Fu into the mainstream of American cinema? Yes, Thomas. Bruce Lee. No, New Hampshire, you want to try it? Uh, Eric. Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan is right. New Hampshire, you've still got the board. Category. Continue with China, please. For 20 points, what world-renowned architect designed the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland and the Glass Pyramids outside the Louvre in Paris? Yes, Reese. I am Pei. That is correct. You still have the board, New Hampshire category. Continue with China, please. 25 points. When nationalist troops fled from mainland China to Taiwan in 1949, uh, they were led by what Chinese statesman? Reese. Chiang Kai-shek. Yes, and you've still got the board, New Hampshire category. Uh, Finnish China. 30 points. China's most famous and highest paid actress. What star of Iron Man 3 mysteriously disappeared from the public eye for several months in 2018 amid charges of tax evasion? <laughs> Fan Bing Bing is the answer. New Hampshire, you've got the board. You'll need a category. Uh, brave new words, please. Uh, brave new words. These are questions about words added to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary in 2018. And for 10 points, what six-letter word means being irritable or angry because of hunger? Yes, Ben. Hangry. Hangry is right. You've still got the board New Hampshire category. Uh, continue with words. For 15 points, what new style of camping includes non-traditional amenities such as electricity, indoor plumbing, and comfortable beds? Yes, Rihanna. Glamping. Glamping is correct. You've still got the board, New Hampshire. Uh, continue with the words. For 20 points. Introduced in the United States just 10 years ago, what new mixed breed dog is a cross between a Yorkshire Terrier and a Poodle? <coughs> Yorkie Poo is the answer. You've still got the board, New Hampshire category. Brave new word. For 25 points this time, if someone asks if you've read all 1,400 pages of War and Peace, you might reply TLDR, which stands for what? Yes, Ben. Too long, didn't read. Yes, and you've still got the board New Hampshire.
uh, finish Brave New Words. Brave New Words for 30 points. Uh, what new term is used as a gender neutral alternative to a Latino or Latina? Yes, Reese. Latinx. Yes, and uh, you've got the board, New Hampshire. You'll need a category. Mission Control. Mission Control this time for 20 points in 1942. 15 years before the Soviets launched a Sputnik, what country launched the first rocket into space? Yes, George. Germany. Germany is correct. You've got the board main category. Uh, mission Control. For 25 points, launched in 1960, the first NASA communication satellite was aptly named after what Greek nymph who could only repeat the last words spoken by another? Yes, Eric. Echo. Echo is right. New Hampshire, you've got the board category. Mission Control. Mission Control for 30 points, teams. On August 12, 2018, NASA launched a what solar probe that at its closest approach will hurtle around the sun at approximately 430,000 miles per hour? Yes, George. The Parker solar probe. That is correct. Maine, you've got the board category. Uh, home sweet home. Questions about historic American homes. And for 10 points, with its green shag carpet and Polynesian decor, the Jungle Room is a fan favorite at what Memphis landmark that Elvis Presley called home? Yes, Maggie. Graceland. Yes, you've still got the board main category. Uh, home sweet home. This time for 15 points. In the 1850s, a group of 23 patriotic women banded together to raise $200,000 to save what Virginia plantation that belonged to George Washington? Yes, Eric. Mount Vernon. Yes, and now you've got control of the board, New Hampshire category. Continue with Home Sweet Home. This time for 20 points. Uh, now open to the public as a museum. What's the name of Prince's private estate and recording complex in suburban Minneapolis? Paisley Park. Uh, and New Hampshire, you've still got the board category. Home Sweet Home. Uh, this time for 25 points. In 2018, singer Lance Bass lost a bidding war to HGTV for 11222 Dilling Street in North Hollywood, the iconic home featured on what sitcom that ran from 1969 to 1974? Yes, Reese. The Brady Bunch. That is correct. You've got the board. Category? Finish Home Sweet Home. Home Sweet Home for 30 points. What author of The Age of Innocence designed the house and the gardens at the Mount, her historic home in the Berkshires of Western Massachusetts. Yes, Reese. Edith Wharton. That is correct. New Hampshire, you've got the board, but I've got the final category. What's up, Doc? Questions about recent documentary films. And for 10 points in the film RBG, what octogenarian is celebrated as a women's rights champion and a true iconoclast? Yes, Reese. Ginsburg. Ruth Bader Ginsburg, yes. What's up, Doc? For 15 points, director Morgan Neville said he wanted to remind people of the value of radical kindness in Won't You Be My Neighbor, a film about what children's television pioneer? Yes, George. Mr. Rogers. That is correct. And now, what's up, Doc? For 20 points, known for provocative political films like Fahrenheit 9-11 uh, and uh, Bowling for Columbine, who recently directed Fahrenheit 11-9, a film about the 2016 presidential election? Yes, George. Michael Moore. Michael Moore is right. And now, what's up, Doc? For 25 points, what Oscar-winning film about doping in professional sports is titled after a figure from Greek mythology who flew too close to the sun? Yes, Ben. Icarus. That is correct. And now, what's up? Oh, I wanted to get that last question in. Whew. Okay, that's the bell that ends the category round. The score right now, Maine, 250 points. New Hampshire, 625 points. <laughs> Okay, we're heading into the final 90 seconds of a gameplay. We call it the lightning round. And now you get 20 points for each correct answer. Incorrect answers, teams, will cost you 20 points. So the clock is set, and good luck. Here we go. What celestial body is approximately 93 million miles from Earth? Yes, Thomas. Sun. Yes. Uh, what songwriting team wrote the Pirates of Penzance? And uh, yes, uh, Reese. Gilbert and Sullivan. Yes. What U.S. state was the site of the historic Lincoln-Douglas debates? Of, uh, yes. Illinois. I'm sorry? Illinois. Yes. Uh, what NASA space shuttle ended in disaster in 2003? Yes, Ben. Challenger. No, the Columbia. In 2018, what Glee actor won an Emmy for the assassination of Gianni Versace, American Crime Story? Darren Chris, although oxygen gas is colorless, the liquid form of oxygen 
is Edmund. Pale Blue. Yes, uh, the best-selling memoir, A Higher Loyalty, was released in 2018 by what former FBI agent? Yes, Reese? Comey. Yes, James Comey. What author of A Doll's House is known? Yes, Reese? Ibsen. Yes, uh, the Ukrainian city of Odessa is located on what sea? Yes, Eric? Crimean. No, the Black Sea. Name the third president of the United States. Yes, Thomas? Jefferson. Yes, Thomas Jefferson. Uh, what year marked the English defeat of the Spanish Armada? Yes, Edmund. 1588. Yes. Uh, folk music legend Bob Dylan was born in 1941 with what original last name? Zimmerman. Uh, what city is home to one of the world's largest plazas, Tiananmen Square? Yes, Eric. Beijing. Yeah, what New York race is the oldest event of the Triple Crown of... Uh, yes, Thomas. Belmont. Yes. Who was the first U.S. president to appoint a female? Oh, and that is the bell. That is the game. The winner, New Hampshire. Total score, 685 points. The runner-up this week, Maine, with 350 points. Congratulations to both teams for a great game. Now, New Hampshire will move on into the Invitational Championship, so be sure to tune in. We'll see you all back here next week for High School Quiz Show. Production support for High School Quiz Show Maine is provided by the Helen and George Ladd Charitable Corporation, the Lincoln and Therese Filene Foundation, Plotz Associates, Bernstein Schur, and by... Take a moment and change your life. Join a main credit union. At a credit union, you're an owner, and a credit union gives back to its owners. Contact your local main credit union. It's your moment. Own it. Energy is about more than just keeping the lights on. It's about living life. As parents, friends, and teammates, Unitil is proud to support High School Quiz Show Maine. Unitil, more than a utility, part of your community. With Harvard Pilgrim Healthcare, you get more than a health plan. You get a partner. With benefits built around local needs, they're helping communities across Maine get healthier and happier. Visit harvardpilgrim.org to learn more. And by viewers like you. Thank you. A production of WGBH.